Are we causing a mass extinction? Have we changed our environment so much that we've marked the beginning of a new geological epoch? This turns out to be surprisingly controversial. I just recently read this headline saying we're causing the biggest die-off since the dinosaurs were wiped out by an asteroid. Well, wow. But I have to say I'm somewhat tired of scientists declaring the end of the world just because there's one species of ants less in the Amazon. I wouldn't mind having one species of ants less in our kitchen. So how much do we need to worry and how much of this is alarmism? Let's have a look. There is little doubt that humans have had a major impact on life on planet Earth. We're cutting down forests, overfishing the oceans and pumping junk into the atmosphere at unprecedented rates. This is why geologists are debating whether we've actually caused the beginning of a new geological epoch, the Anthropocene. Anthropocene literally means human new. That sounds like a shampoo line, but geologists, being geologists, they define epochs by geological records. The current epoch is called the Holocene. It started about 12,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. But since the middle of the last century, we've left traces in sediments. The clearest one is fallout from nuclear bomb tests. On top of that come layers of microplastics, ash from industrial emissions, fertilizer residue and isotopic traces of our burning of fossil fuels. Basically, geologists say if aliens come to visit our planet after we've gone extinct, they'd hold conferences about the human sediment layer. But in March 2024, the International Union of Geological Sciences voted against declaring the beginning of the Anthropocene. Most of them think that we haven't contaminated the environment for long enough to be worthy of our own epoch. That caused quite some friction in the community. The geologist Earl Ellis resigned from the committee already before the vote, arguing that his colleagues systematically ignore overwhelming evidence of Earth's long-term anthropogenic transformation and that it's not just bad science, but bad for public understanding and action on global change. Two of the involved geologists claim that those who reject the anthropogenic Scene, ignore the most central tenet of their discipline, rely on data, not belief or conviction. The union eventually just declared that, well, if the term isn't formally recognized, then it'll be informally used. Okay. Why even vote on it then? I don't feel strongly about this, honestly. I mean, who knew that this is the Holocene to begin with? But whatever you want to call it, humans are bad news for nature. Scientists have found that in the past 500 years, more than 700 vertebrate species have gone extinct. That's mammals, birds and reptiles and so on. Populations of wild vertebrates have declined on average by nearly 70% since 1970. When it comes to invertebrates, that's insects and spiders on so on, we aren't sure how many we've even killed off. The United Nations estimates that about one million species are currently at risk of extinction. A recent large analysis from a group of ecologists compared today's losses with past extinction events. They found that the current die-off is likely bigger than any other in the past 66 million years, that is, since the dinosaurs went extinct. Extinct. So that's what the data say. But are we or aren't we causing a sixth mass extinction? Paleontologists use the term mass extinction for cases when roughly 75% of all species vanish. We're currently at less than 1% in total. So yeah, it's fair to call talk of a mass extinction somewhat alarmist. Honestly, I thought it's worse. It's nice when science occasionally under-delivers on doom. The real problem isn't the current extinction level. The real problem is how rapidly it's getting worse. Ecologists have estimated that if current trends continue, will have a proper mass extinction in about 300 to 400 years. Optimistically, maybe in a thousand years. There is good news too, though. The biggest mass extinctions in the past have been caused by giant volcano eruptions. Overfishing is somewhat easier to stop than that. So yeah, it's a pretty shit thing we're doing to the planet, but it gives us time to rename the epochs properly before everything dies. 
So are we causing a mass extinction? Not yet, but we're working on it. No matter how you look at it, humans have not been good news for the rest of nature. This is why I do my little bit, take the train, separate the garbage and contribute to Planet Wild. Planet Wild uses membership contributions for hands-on missions that restore ecosystems. Like this recent mission where they're restoring a dying valley and bringing back vultures, a species essential to the ecosystem. Planet Wild documents all their activities with videos right here on YouTube or on their app so you can see the impact of your contribution. You can give whatever you want and can cancel at any time. Being a member of Planet Wild has shown me that if we work together in whatever small way, we can make a difference. I will cover the first month of your Planet Wild membership if you're among the first 100 people to use my code through the link in the description or the QR code. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.